Hi, and welcome back to another episode of How to Hack. So today we're going to study about the WP scan, which is a WordPress scanning for vulnerabilities. So WordPress is a very popular content management system that is being deployed by many major websites around the world. And of course, the, the great thing about it is that WordPress is open source, it is free, and there are many available plugins and teams that that corporates and enterprises can use to deploy their content management system. And it's a great tool, a great digital tool for you to reach out to the market. However, because of its popularity and its inherent risks, there are many vulnerabilities that can be associated with its plugins, with its teams, with its customization, and some of its default configurations. And today we're going to discuss about how can we discover the vulnerabilities within the WordPress site, the WordPress platform, and how can we enumerate the, the plugins, the vulnerable plugins, finding out the exploits, as well as finding out the list of users within this particular WordPress site. So let's go on into the demonstration. So over here, I have Color Linux running, and we're going to use this tool called WP Scan that will allow us to do a WP Scan application on your WordPress website. So you can enter WP Scan and you get the, the help menu file which shows you what are some of the general commands that you can use to scan against your WordPress website. And of course on the hosting machine I have XAMPP running which has a Apache and MySQL that are already started and I have installed WordPress on it. So let's go to IceWeasel which is a Color Linux web browser and we can go into the, the IP address of the hosting WordPress site. So let's enter IP config. So over here, we are trying to find out what exactly is the IP address of this particular machine. And of course, we can see over here IPv4, 192.168.104. So let's go to 192.168.1.4. And of course, this is the XAMPP uh, website. So of course, what we're trying to do is not trying to go to dashboard, but we're trying to go to WP, which I installed over here. So having a slash WP because of the folder that I installed over, so we're able to see the WordPress site. Okay, so I, of course, name it as the vulnerable WordPress site. And, of course, you can see over here, it's typical of a WordPress site to have all of the content over here. So going back to the command shell on WP's scan. So what we can do is uh, we have a few commands. We can check your website for vulnerable teams, plugins, and users. So this will let you know if your website has a high risk of becoming infected. From there, you can take steps to secure a site by updating or disabling the security problems. So the very first thing we can do is just enter a WP scan, followed by dash dash URL, and of course, the HTTP, which is the protocol that we're going to access on the pod 80 of the victim's machine, 192.168.1.4 slash WP. So yeah, you got to remember exactly where is the WordPress directory in the, in the site. So entering this, we can see that what are some of the scanning that are occurring? So of course we see green generally standing for a no risk kind of uh, security vulnerability. On the other hand, the, what we see over here is an orange with an exclamation mark. So it's highlighting some issues with the WordPress site. So we see the WordPress 192.168.104 WP readme.html and a file exists exposing a version number. So there can be times where you actually want to disable your the hackers from actually seeing what kind of version you're running on WordPress because vulnerabilities are strongly associated with the kind of version they are running. So say we were to copy the link address and we were to go to the any any browser that you have and we were to paste it and we hit enter. So we can actually see exactly over here it is states clearly version 4.7. And of course, it will tell you exactly what kind of uh, information this this WordPress site actually hosts. So it's pretty important for you to actually, uh, in a way, slow down the capabilities of the attackers gaining information of your site. So moving forward, now that we have scanned the, the WordPress site, so another item that we really want to scan against is to understand that in, in WordPress, there are many plugins that are available. And many of these plugins actually allow you to be able to use certain features and functions. However, there are many plugins who are actually vulnerable to exploits. They are not written properly. They are not written securely, in fact. So that is the point where you can actually trigger new security exploits, even though you have the most up-to-date WordPress version. So another command that we can use is 
as follow wp scan dash dash url http 192.168.1.4 and then followed by dash dash enumerate and followed by p so this will actually check against all the available plugins on this wordpress team so i have installed a few vulnerable plugins into this wordpress site okay so it's asking do you want to follow the redirection you enter no so if there are any links that are actually available on on this site oops oh i gotta enter slash wp yep all right so now we'll be able to see what are some of the plugins that are running within this wordpress site so it's going to take a while because it's checking against 2201 database of plugins that are vulnerable so it could be having different version numbers it could be different kind of plugins however there are many different kind of plugins that are easily and readily exploitable to to you by using the pp scan you can find out more information about it and of course there are many other items that we can we can use against to to find out information as well so wp scan is going to give you a preliminary idea about how you should actually scan against the wordpress site so we're going to wait for a while more so as you can see over here it took us a while about a minute and 40 seconds so it's going to take a longer time if we were to scan a legitimate site that has probably 20 30 plugins running in the wordpress site and some of the plugins could be customized as well. So it could be not in within the database that we have in WP scan. So over here we have found four plugins and we can see that there are different colors that signify different kind of severity within the plugins. So over here we have a plugin called App from Server version 3.31. And of course this is that directory directory listing is enabled. So over here you can actually see that we can find out the directory over on this uh, particular link. And of course, moving forward, we have another item, Ultimate Product Catalog. So again, directory listing is enabled. So we can actually go in and see what kind of information it, it is actually showing. So we can just copy the link address. We go to any WordPress, we go to any web browser, and we just hit enter. And you see that, wow, it's listing all the directory within this, this site. And we can click parent directory, and we can see what kind of information that we get. However, this is, this is pretty dangerous because we can actually find out exactly what kind of folders, what kind of items are within the entire plugin and we can manipulate, we can see, we can do taint analysis, we can check exactly where is the vulnerable code running and we can try to circumvent or to go around many of this security implementation or mechanisms that are already in place. So moving back to the command shell, over here of course we have the ultimate WP ultimate CSV importer, again directory listing is enabled and lastly, we have a red highlight. So a red exclamation mark means it's the highest severity. So over here, we can see that it is a database table export. So there is a reference of exactly what kind of, what kind of vulnerability this, this particular plugin will have issue on your WordPress site. So we can just enter into the vulnerabilities list. So WP view L and DB is a WordPress vulnerability database so due to lack of verification of visitors permission it is possible to execute the export of php script included in the default installation of this plugin so again you can read it on your own there's a it's a really big details on on what you can do with this particular exploit so and of course the idea is to always try to have up-to-date plugins check your plugins uh, against many of this many of this uh, WordPress vulnerability databases and see exactly what is what is secured, what is unsecured and see what kind of plugins are better for your site in terms of security, in terms of cybersecurity. And moving forward, we have another command that actually help us find out the, the entire user, user list within the WordPress site. So you just have to enter the WP scan URL again, followed by enumerate. And of course with you, so this will actually help us find out the user list within the, the WordPress site. So over here, we found out that there are two users that has been identified. So we can see one user is user and the second user login is micro. So over with this kind of information that you have, you're able to accelerate your process of brute force attack because you don't have to try the various kind of usernames available in the WordPress site. So of course, we can do using WP scan, we can do brute force attack and many other items that, that will be discussed in subsequent videos. So there are definitely a lot of security configurations and policies that you can set 
on the WordPress site in order for you to ensure that you have a secure WordPress platform. So the number one thing is you want to limit the number of user attempting into, into the login of your site. So the first thing you can set is like a, a, a maximum of 10 tries before a user is being completely locked out to the IP address or to the username of the, of the site. And from there on, they will no longer be able to try on any brute force attack or any brute force attempts. And of course, the second item is, can you change some of the default administrator password or, or some of the default administrator usernames? So admin, administrator, root, all these are common usernames that are being used to try to brute force against. So these are the, the usernames that are most susceptible to, to hacking attempts. And it is important for you to actually change, make changes to those usernames so that it becomes much more difficult so you can prolong the attempt into, into attacking your site. And of course, there are many other policies that you can try to enforce. You can try to secure on your enterprise WordPress platform. It doesn't matter whether it's WordPress, as long as it's a content management system that is publicly available, that can be assessed by anybody in the world, then chances are you really want to think carefully about the security policies. You want to have a, a strong idea about how you can assess your security posture of it and what are the remediation steps to it and how can you rectify any of these inherent security flaws that are tied to the platform that you have chosen. And of course, if you enjoy the presentation today, feel free to subscribe.